Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite with a new FinSuite Webflow hack. In this hack, we'll be creating a pricing calculator with selects and a Webflow form. We'll put selects in our form, we will apply values to each option in the select, and when somebody makes selections, we'll add up the total cost. We are going to submit that total cost along with the form. Let's jump in and see how it works. We're in the live example and we have two select field inputs here on the page. These are two different inputs and we're going to add the values of each one here on the right. You can see on this first one, Webflow hosted, we have personal account, team account, enterprise account, WF other. Each one of these has a value attached to it. And you'll see that when I go and click on each one, the value is being updated here. Nice. And I'll go back to select one, which will reset the value. Here on the second one, we have other options with other values. What we're doing today is adding these two values together. So we have the self-hosted personal server selected, and we also have the team account selected. And these two values are going to add up. As I go and change the options selected, it will continue to update this total added value. Excellent. When I go and submit the form, we can submit this total value along with the form submission. Let's get into Designer and see how this works. We're in Designer and we have a native Webflow form here on the page. This is a form directly from the Assets panel. We are using native Webflow form selects here. Before we get into the data attributes and the options, let's first go over the classes that we need to be aware of. The first class is the Hack44 Select class. We have that same class applied to both select fields. There is actually no unique class for each of these. As long as they have this same class of Hack44 Select, it's going to work with our JavaScript. The second important class that we need is Hack44 Added Value. This is where we will add up the total values of each select field. So we select one from Webflow hosted, one from self hosted, that value will be put in the hack 44 added value class. And the last class that we need is hidden inside an HTML embed. This is a hidden field and you would need to use this if you wanna pass the added value through on the form. If you don't need to send the added value in on the form, you can remove this, we don't need it. But if you want that total value submitted with the form, we have a hidden input with a class of hack 44 send value. That's it for the classes. Now let's get into the data attributes and how we set this up. I'm gonna go click on a select and I have my choices in here. Excellent. Every single choice has a text and a value. The text is what the user is going to see. I go on the website, I'm going into the select, I see personal account. Value is the actual value of that selection. It can be completely different than the text. This is what we'll submit through the form. So if we have the select and somebody chooses personal account, we will see this coming through on the form submission. The value here is important for all of these. It's what we are going to use to tie the value to that option selection. So note how we have a dash in between each of these, enterprise-account and wf-other. What we're doing with the select attributes is using the value of the option as the name, and then we are assigning a value to that option. And each one of these has this team-account 500, enterprise-account 721, wf-other 1693. Same thing with the other select here. If I go to GoDaddy, we have this value of GoDaddy. So we put the value of GoDaddy here and apply a value to this new name. Same thing with personal server and self-other. So look at self-other and that is the value of this other selection. That's how we apply these values to each select option, and that's how we're going to be able to 
add up these values inside JavaScript. Let's get into the custom code and see how this works. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. The very first thing we're going to do is target our hack 44 select class. And on change, we're going to run a function. This means when something is selected, when there is a change to our select field, go ahead, run this function. And the first thing we will do inside this function is to declare and initialize our sum at zero. We're telling JavaScript there is something called sum that we're working with, and the sum is initially set to zero. As we start changing our selects, we're then going to add to zero. For each hack 44 select, for each of our select inputs, we are going to take the sum, and we're going to say that the sum is equal to the sum plus the select value. So when we make a change to the select, we're taking that initial sum, and then we are going to add an additional value to it. So if this is our very first selection, we have not interacted with any other inputs for select, we're starting out at zero, and if we select one at 200, it will add 200. If we have another select selected, it will take that 200 that we selected previously and add an additional value on top of it. That's what this is doing. We're taking the number, we're targeting the select, we're going to go to the data attribute, and then we are going to get the value. And then if there is no value, we will say zero. So nothing there yet. The first select is going to add on top of zero. If the second select or the third select or the fourth select is selected, we will take the previous sum that we have added up and add the new value on top of it. This is really powerful because you can continue adding selects and this will continue to work. We are checking for each of them. It's not specific to a specific select. So you can keep going and adding these to create a real powerhouse for adding up values. After we have our sum, we're going to format it. We're assuming this may be for money and we're going to add our comma in the thousands place. So we'll do that by creating a variable called formatted sum, and it's going to be a number format formatted to our sum. So here we have our sum that is being added up, starts at zero, being added as we create select, as we define selects with their input value, and we're formatting that right here. And then once we have our formatted number, we're then going to pass it into our classes that display it and send it through the form. So we have our hack 44 added value class. This is the visible text that the user sees being added up on the page. We're going to update the text of that class with our formatted sum value. And this is our formatted sum value. And then we're going to take our hack 44 send value class which is the hidden field inside of our HTML embed. We're going to update the value attribute with that, and the value will be our formatted sum, which comes to 3,500 in this example comment. Excellent, let's say you don't want to go and format the sum, no problem. We can go and remove this, and I can just pass in the sum here. So we don't need to pass in the formatted sum, we can just pass in the sum, and it's going to take our sum as added to in the first part of this code. However, we do wanna format it. We're gonna be working with money here, so the formatting does help us. This is how you are able to add up values with select fields. If you want more on this, we have hack 42 and 43, which deal with radios and checkboxes. We also have hack 45, which combines checkboxes, radios, and selects all together. Check it out, we have a lot more to do. Enjoy your selects. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. 
please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.